Welcome to Hidden Missing TV. Um, I am making this video as an update. I'm actually very excited to have an update on this case. <coughs> it has been announced by Identifinders. They are another genetic genealogy group similar to the DNA Doe Project that they have identified the Bibb County John Doe. <clears throat> His name was Daniel Paul or Danny Armentrout. This, according to Identifinders, was the oldest case from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, NICMIC, to be solved with genetic genealogy. That is awesome! And this was done because of the internet. Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube <coughs> put out the call to his freaks, as he calls them, or they call themselves, to donate to do better DNA on this boy. They heard the call, they made the donations, and made this happen in partnership with Identifinders. That is so exciting. Um, again, thank you Identifinders, thank you Gary Hughes Investigates, uh, Gray Hughes Investigates, sorry, I wrote it wrong. <clears throat> It was quite a ring around the rosy to get to where they were going. But they found the boy's brother, Donald. Um, once he was shown the morgue photograph, he confirmed that this was his brother. He downloaded this picture because, according to the genealogist from Identifinders, he didn't have a picture of his brother except as a baby. I find that so sad that he was printing out a morgue photo, although his morgue photo is beautiful. Um, <coughs> according to Identifinders, they will be the coroner's office, which is also the undertaker, in the very small town in Alabama where the boy was killed <coughs> in the auto accident is going to be looking for the boy's belongings and a photograph that the boy had on him of himself and an unknown female to give to his brother. They also invited his brother and his wife to the town to a service for the boy and a dedication of a stone in his proper name. One of the issues, according to Identifinders, that was a stumbling block was the surname. <coughs> because the three boys, because there were three, thought they were adopted by their stepfather, so they used his surname. And they found out later that they were not. That they were legally Armentrout. Um, I'm just blown away. This boy, Daniel Paul Armentrout, was only 15 years old. And I don't know if I mentioned in my other video that he had a limp, but he did. And the first thing the lady from Identifiers <coughs> um, one of the first things that she got was that the man's brother wore braces on his legs. She remembered the limp. She called the other genetic genealogists. Two were working together and said, I think we know who this is. And they continued their work. It was Haynes taking work that these two wonderful ladies did. Um, Missy and 
Colleen, I think. It was just amazing. Kathleen. Um, what they had to sift through genealogically to find it. I am always so happy when we as a community on the internet <coughs> can find a missing person or give someone their name back. In this case, the name has been given back to this boy and he's being returned to his brother. Now, his brother would like to know, his brother Donald, would like to know where his older brother David is because he too had left home. Um, according to Identifinders, they didn't have an easy home life, so they all left home fairly early. Um, Donald went in the military. He is not sure what happened to David. In fact, when he was first told about the boy, he asked <coughs> they asked him when he looked at the picture, is this Don is this David or Danny? Also the brother called his priest and it will be some sort of prayer, I don't know how it works in the Catholic Church, I'm not Catholic, um, for him there as well. Um, again, I'm so happy for Donald, and I think what Gray Hughes did, you know, basically crowdfunding this thing, was amazing. Check out his YouTube channel. Um, I'll actually link it in the description of this video. I'll link you to a video about this case because it's it's amazing. Um, <coughs> thank you to everyone who looked at the picture, everyone who opened a browser and tried. You know, it, it's it's awesome, and especially to those women who. Um, did all that work. And to Dr. Fitzpatrick who got the DNA and pulled a miracle out of a hat in getting enough DNA for submission. And thank you to all the people that worked with them giving them access to their DNA and and their matches and giving them, I mean I would do it in a heartbeat. And these people learned something along the way. And I think that's great, you know, about their own families. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for joining me. And please check out the other video that has that was uploaded today that was made previously. It is about Teresa Alfonso and Cynthia Gooding, missing from Marathon, Florida. And please check out my citations video, also uploaded today. It's been a busy day. Thank you, goodbye, God bless you, and enjoy the rest of this day.